okay welcome back guys so in today's question we need to determine the required force p in order to result in that these two forces that are applying at point a be vertical and in the b part we need to find the magnitude of the r uh, we have some information in the question we know the alpha is 20 degrees let's find out the resulting of these two forces using the uh, triangle rule so we have the force uh, 425 pounds which we know is making 30 degrees with horizontal we have the force p which is making the angle alpha or 20 degrees with horizontal and i'm gonna show the resultant force with red uh, which would be our r and we know that r needs to be vertical uh, which means this angle has to be a right angle so we know this one is p and we have the 425 pounds for this and if we so we can figure out some angles in here uh, i'm gonna show it in light blue uh, so since this angle is right angle we know this part will be 60 degrees which is 90 minus uh, 30 degrees and also this angle here would be same as the 30 degrees that we have in here and if we want to find this angle we simply have the sum of all angles in a triangle 180 and we have 60 in uh, one of the angles and the other one is 20 plus 30 which will be 50 and uh, that angle that we are looking for will be simply 180 minus 110 which will be 70 degrees so now that we have everything we can do the law of sines and for that we have each force uh, divided by the angle so for 425 we have this sine of 70 degrees for p we have sine of 60 degrees and from this fraction uh, we can find p and this would give us 392 pounds for p and we can do again 425 divided by sine of 70 degrees and this time we are looking for the r so that was the a part of the question which was to find uh, p and the b part we need to find the resultant uh, which we know the angle for resultant is the sine of uh, again 20 plus 30 which is 50 and from here we can find r which will be 346 pounds and that would be the answer for the b part of the question and that's it all we need uh, to do for this question is to figure out the angles and since in the question we are asked to have the result in, in vertical uh, we can find the uh, r using trigonometry and that would be the final answer for this question